here in my garage, I just purchased not a Lamborghini, but some kayaks. So I'll be installing some fishing rod holders in my kayak so that I can fish. But you know what I like more than fishing in my kayak? Books about fishing in my kayak because they give me knowledge. No, no, I just like fishing in my kayak. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to install some fishing rod holders in them. I picked up some fishing rod holders with a gasket off Amazon, which I'll leave a, a link in the description below. I'm going to use the gasket as a template which I'll draw out. Just be sure when you're installing them that you're installing them the right way because they are angled. So you want your fishing rod holder to be angled at the back. So if I were to install them this way, the fishing rods will be pointing forward. So you want to make sure that you install them that way so that the fishing rod, whenever you put them in the hole, they're sticking out the back. So normally I would use a well nut, but um, because this has a gasket, the well nut has a little bit of a lip on it. So it's going to be sticking above. So I want to be able to silicone this gasket down so that no water um, will leak in. So I'm just going to be using regular stainless steel nuts or stainless steel screws. So you're going to need some silicone, a sharpie, and something to cut this out. You can use a jigsaw or whatever you have to cut it out. For myself, I'm just going to eyeball it on both sides on where exactly I want to put them and trace it out with the sharpie and then cut them out. So now that I use the gasket as a template, I'm going to get my drill and drill out a 1 8 hole in these three for my screws. And I'm going to drill a hole here so that I can get my jigsaw or anything else to cut a round circle in here and then I'm going to file it all smooth. I'm going to clean up all these edges and try to get that piece I cut out out of the kayak so I don't hear it rattle.
because these are on an angle, now after you cut out the hole, I've grind, grinded out this part. So because it slants this way, I want my rods facing the back. You have to grind out this a little bit more. If not, it's not going to sit flush unless you really push it down. But I don't want to create more stress on the plastic. So I grind it the front out a little bit more. That way there, it sits flush. So I'll do that the same to the other side. So again, because it curves, you have to create more distance here. So I grinded this out a little bit larger on this side so that it sits nice and flush. Beauty. Okay, so once you grind all this out, uh, to get these center things out after they, they fell, um, under the seat goes all the way back here. So I just tipped the kayak forward to have all the stuff that, um, all the shavings and, and the center part that fell inside just to fall out in the front and vacuum it out later. So what you're going to need now is some silicone. What I'm going to do is, they have this gasket here, but I'm going to put silicone underneath the gasket, around the screws and on top. I just got just normal indoor-outdoor silicone. There's no need for marine grade silicone because marine grade is for below the water, below the water line, I should say. So, I mean, if you want to spend the money on marine grade, that's, uh, that's great, but uh, I just bought just a regular silicone. So I'm going to put a bead of silicone here covering the screws set this on top and then a bead of silicone on here and then slide that in and then put my screws I'm just hand tightening these. I don't feel much of a bite through the plastic. Um, if this doesn't work out, I'll end up, like if it ends up coming loose, I'll end up just scraping all the silicone off and redoing it, but drilling the holes bigger and using the well nuts uh, from Scotty because uh, they, they have a bigger, a better bite. So, but for now I'll let that dry and hopefully it will work out. And there you have it. Once you clean off all the silicone, it looks nice and fancy and it's a nice little seal. Now if you were to, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you were to buy this kayak with these on, you're going to spend $150 more. Um, and they don't come with these tops. But for $15, bucks, shipped to your door, and about 15-20 minutes worth of work, you, ha you can have a nicer set.